We spend a lot of time on this show sharing ideas on how to enjoy greater gardening success. This includes using chemicals, treatments for pests a lot of the time, and I want to share a little tip with you. You see, it doesn't matter whether it's an insecticide or herbicide, whether on the bottle it says it's all natural ingredients or it's a chemical. If it's designed to kill a living organism, you have to be very careful with how you use them. This goes for all chemicals. Some people think that something labelled safe or natural means you are safer, but that's not true. If it kills a plant or a bug, if it comes in contact with your skin, if you can smell it, then it's impacting your body in some way. So covering up is vitally important. So what equipment do you need? Well, overalls can be washed or a spray suit is ideal. There's the white disposable types available and they're cost effective. Rubber boots or waterproof work boots are ideal. Remembering you're gonna to wanna to wash them down after you finish spraying. Rubber gloves are absolutely essential. If you don't have waterproof gloves, don't spray. And last but not least, make sure you've got yourself one of these masks. Now, what they do is protect you from inhaling any of the ingredients. And it doesn't matter if you've got a hose on or a premix like this, these sort of dust masks, which are also designed for fumes and fine sprays, they're ideal. But if you've got quite a toxic chemical you're using, something that you want to be super careful with, get a professional mask with the canisters on them. Now, they're the rubber face masks, and those canisters you replace every six to 12 months, depending upon how often you use them. And when it comes to mixing chemicals, set your sprayer down on a level surface and only apply the recommended amount in concentrate first. Then fill with water and make sure you wash down any spills to dilute them into a harmless level. One of the most important rules is to never spray on a windy day, regardless of whether you're applying a herbicide or insecticide. You don't want spray drifting onto your neighbour's garden or onto plants that you don't want treated. Apply direct to the plant you want to control the pest with and never beyond that. Applying insecticides generally can build up a tolerance in the pest and this means you're going to have to apply more chemical more often and when it no longer works, perhaps you'll have to use something more toxic. Glyphosate has gotten a lot of bad publicity recently. It's used by millions of people daily. And without it, weeds like arum lily and blackberry would have invaded and devastated our bushlands. In some cases, it would have wiped out native plants and animals. And we have to use this chemical as it's the safest option of the chemicals that are currently available to treat these kinds of noxious weeds and pests. Now remember, it doesn't matter what it says on the label, whether it's natural, whether it's a chemical, if it kills an insect, if it kills a plant, you don't want that coming in contact with your body. It's just so much wiser to make sure you cover up. No shorts, no thongs. Let's be clever, let's be smart, let's be safe.